planning your trip to Yellowstone, one of the most important decisions you'll make is where to stay. A large part of that will be decided by your own preferences on location, comfort, and amenities. The list I've compiled here has come from years of visiting the park and knowing what I like, but hopefully it has something for everyone. I'll lead off with Under Canvas Yellowstone. Under Canvas is a self-described glamping resort where all you have to do is show up. and They take care of just about everything else. The serious advantage of Under Canvas is that it's in West Yellowstone and less than 10 minutes from the park entrance. And the resort itself is fantastic. Their accommodations range from simple teepees to outrageously comfortable safari style tents, complete with hardwood floors and plush king size beds. Whoa. The location is breathtaking with the Madison River ambling through the property. It's the kind of place where you can relax and chill out, where you can roast s'mores around the campfire and trade your Yellowstone stories with people from all over the world. All this combined with access to top tier dining made under canvas an easy pick for my top five. Next on my list is the Shoshone Lodge, just outside the east entrance of the park. I love this place. I've stayed here twice, and there are many advantages to staying at one of the ranches on the Wapiti Valley Road. First is location. Being five minutes from the Sylvan Pass entrance is fantastic. The Shoshone has all the atmosphere you could hope for in a western style mountain lodge. And in the restaurant, you'll find a hearty Wyoming version of surf and turf. Activities like trail riding and hiking have always made the Shoshone Lodge a destination in itself. But now there's an added attraction. It's directly across the road from Sleeping Giant, the only zip line in the Yellowstone area. So location, facilities, and adventure make the Shoshone Lodge, you know, you just take a little walk and you never know what you're gonna run into. A fantastic choice to stay at Yellowstone. If the Shoshone Lodge is full, there are a few other similar places nearby, like the Absaroka Mountain Lodge, only 10 minutes further from the park. It's also a beautiful property offering similar activities in an even more tranquil setting. My next choice isn't as close to the park, but it's only about 40 minutes away. Chico Hot Springs Resort and Day Spa, a sprawling, beautiful property with access to the north entrance of the park. Chico Resort defies simple description because this place literally has something for everyone. Old forestry service cabins, quiet secluded cottages, condos for large families, all the way up to plush individual houses with a view of the valley and all the amenities for those who like to feel at home. And my favorite, a refurbished caboose with every luxury you could possibly think of. This one's for the fans of the TV show, The Wild Wild West. The pools here are what Chico's all about. They're fed with mineral rich water from the local volcanic hot springs. Nice. And when you're not out exploring Yellowstone, activities like the yoga spa, and trail riding keep you grounded to your surroundings. There's enough here to keep any family busy and happy. Okay. If you have time to visit some of Yellowstone's surrounding areas, those experiences can be just as rewarding as those you'll have in the park. So I'm gonna move out a little further for my final recommendation on the list. Cody, Wyoming Trout Ranch. About an hour from Yellowstone through the Waipiti Valley, this place bills itself as a trout fishery and offers stock ponds for guests to fish in. But I wouldn't come here for that. Or for the adjacent RV park either. 
No, what I recommend here are the teepees down by the river. These individual glamping tents are set up in a comfortable Native American theme. Each teepee is named for a different animal. And the comfortable queen-size bed and pull-out sofa in each tent assures relative comfort for everybody. The location right next to the water provides the soothing sound of the Shoshone River moving past you all day and night. And being just 10 minutes away from downtown Cody gives you access to one of the great towns of the West with their night rodeo and Buffalo Bill Cody's Museum of the West. For an affordable price, the unique design and experience, and access to both Cody and Yellowstone, Cody Wyoming Trout Ranch makes my list.